Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Najwa. I'm so happy you're here. If you're new here, do me a favor. Hit that like, subscribe button. Hit that bell so you know whenever I post a video. So I just wanted to talk to you guys really quickly about Joe Biden stepping out of the race. It's like I literally made a video kind of critiquing the debate because I just saw Joe Biden was really getting hit a lot from the media and even people within the Democratic Party which was like insane. How, how, how are you hitmen for your own nominee? And that really pissed me off. So I posted a video basically saying, dude, Joe Biden in my book was the winner of that debate because the substance of what he was saying completely trumped what Trump was saying. Trump was a liar the whole time, you know, a liar the whole time. This guy is a friend of Putin. He's a friend of dictators. Joe Biden is actually doing things for the American economy created 16 million jobs. You know, it's a thankless job being Joe Biden. You know, he's the one who's actually worked for the American people. You can go back and look at my video where, you know, I, I, I talk about this, but of course people just have this idea in, they ha in their head that they want a strong man politician in the White House. And so even though Donald Trump lied the entire time, um, afterwards for the next two weeks, he was playing golf. He wasn't doing anything while Joe Biden was out on his feet you know campaigning but joe biden is old you know and he's got a little stutter and he's got a little cough you know and he just doesn't walk as fast as he used to so um i was really pissed when joe biden dropped out, dropped out of the race um not at joe biden obviously but at the people who basically made that happen um i love msnbc and well i used to and during that whole spill i just <laughs> You know what? But that's I that's neither here nor there, so we're going to leave that in the past. We're moving forward. Kamala Harris is our presumptive nominee and I could not be more supportive. I basically really want to know what you guys think. Um I really recommend that you all register to vote, you know. I know that a lot of people feel a certain type of way about this election. Maybe you just feel lukewarm about both candidates. Maybe you feel very strongly about one or the other. But at the very least, the just register to vote. The, the worst that you guys could do is sit on the couch, you know. That is what brought us Trump in 2016. And Trump in 2024 would mean fascism for America. It would no longer mean American democracy. And I think that Kamala Harris is the perfect person to fight Donald Trump. Donald Trump had a chance to debate her and he pulled out of it with some cop out saying, oh, I'm just going to wait on the Democratic Party to, you know, get their nominee. They're even trying to sue. MAGA is trying to sue to get Kamala Harris out of the race. So I think you see how they really feel. I think you see that they're freaking shaking in their boots as they should be, because if Donald Trump let me tell you this. Black women are the only people who intimidate Donald Trump. This man has has not been intimidated his entire life. Although I do think he is a very insecure person. As far as his power, you know, his, his perception of power, I don't think very many people can intimidate Donald Trump. But I think black women do. <laughs> By the way guys put a super chat and thanks super thanks in the chat uh below in the comments however you're looking at this support black owned media support independent media my husband and i will pull this off on our own so i would love to have you all support but um that that just i feel like that's it right there that's it right there but as far as uh, the substance of the matter, what Kamala can do. First of all, I think she's going to take a tougher stance on uh, Palestine and Israel. I think she knows what Netanyahu is doing in Palestine is deeply, deeply corrupt. You know, I understand that Hamas attacked the Israel state and that Israel has a, a right to defend itself, but the slaughter of innocent Palestinians at the rate that Israel is doing is just uh, it's like war of humanity. It's like crimes against humanity. And uh, I think it was very telling recently that the UK basically went against what the US is doing, which is like, you know, Joe Biden has basically taken the stance of I'm going to support Israel and I'm not going to speak too much on, you know, the genocide that's happening towards the Palestinians. Uh, yeah, and I call it genocide. That's that's what's happening. But I think Kamala Harris will will take a harder stance on that, all while considering that Israel is one of our biggest, if not the biggest ally that we have in the Middle East, and it's a sensitive topic. The next thing is that, dude, she's a former senator, she's a former DA, she knows people like Donald Trump. Like she said, she knows his type. She is the one who is the most qualified to get this felon out of our lives for good, okay? And um, 
I also think that she's going to carry forward with the, uh, the, the, the effort to lower inflation, you know, with the Infrastructure Act. That's something that people don't, they don't, they don't really concentrate on with Joe Biden. It's all this thing about his age. But the Infrastructure Bill, the PACT Act, you know, for example, the, you know, for military men who have been uh, exposed to toxic chemicals, the PAC Act helps them get the help that they need. Um, the, um, the, the Chips and Science Act, to have more chips that we would usually outsource to China, have those be created at home, the manufacturing jobs. People are talking about inflation and the economy, that they're, they're, not, they're not making the money that they need to make. But Joe Biden, meanwhile, with the PAC Act, the Infrastructure Act, the Chips and Science Act, you know, lowering insulin price, he's, he's actually working on that, but nobody's talking about that. Uh, created 16 million jobs, no one's talking about that. So I think Kamala Harris will continue with that. I'm gonna end with this. Make sure to register to vote. If you are independent, if you're Republican, if you're a Democrat, you know, I feel like you need to vote blue either way to save American democracy, but at the very least, vote. You know, at the very least, register to vote. You can go to 411vote411.org, I believe it is. Just Google vote411, and you can put in all your information for your state. You can register, and it's all good. Um, the worst thing that you can do is ride the couch. That's how we got Donald Trump in 2016. And I would say if you are pretty much a shoe-in for voting blue, if you're going to vote blue to take back the House, you know, to hopefully take the Senate, um, if you're going to vote blue to get Kamala into office, I would also say to volunteer. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I'm behind Kamala Harris all the way. Didn't love how they treated Uncle Joe, but I'm behind Kamala Harris all the way. And now I know what y'all think. So uh, let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe, guys. Like the video. Go ahead and punch that like button right now. It pushes it out into the algorithm. Support Black-owned independent media by sending us a super thanks to Super Chat. Super thanks, however you're looking at it. Uh, my husband and I, we pull this all off by ourselves. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.